Kate Middleton was given the titles of Princess of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall last year. However, Prince William gave her a new name on Friday when he referred to her as Colonel Catherine at an Aldershot St. Patrick's Day parade. She succeeded William as Colonel of the Regiment in December, after King Charles III appointed him Colonel of the Welsh Guards. William made mention of the handover and his past participation in the event in a speech. He added, not only am I saddened that I will likely fail once more to finish a pint of Guinness on this, my 13th and final St. Patrick's Day as Colonel, but I am also saddened that I will not in the future see more of you, the families, whose unwavering support enables these outstanding men and women to do what they do. I might be moving to one side, however in Colonel Catherine, you have a committed, centered, and as of now extraordinarily faithful 11th Colonel. Kate, who was dressed by Catherine Walker in a turquoise suit, also said a few things about her new job. I couldn't be happier to be standing in front of you today. Being your colonel is truly an honor. She stated, this is a responsibility I do not take lightly. I am here to listen to you, to support you, and to champion you in all that you do. I am eager to spend more time with you and your families because I can see your dedication to duty and service in everything you do. She also wore a familiar shamrock brooch that represented the Royal Regiment at the event. Maxwell Stone, a Stephen Stone jewelry expert, claims that the Irish guards typically lend the brooch to a royal woman. The piece, which is made of 18 karat yellow gold and is thought to have been designed by Cartier, has a tiny single emerald in the middle of the textured leaves. Kate has worn the brooch on several visits to Northern Ireland, as well as to St. Patrick's Day celebrations, according to the statement. Previously worn by the Queen Mother and Princess Anne. On March 8, Kate visited a Salisbury Plain training facility for the first time as the regiment's colonel. She even participated in the training in the snow in a camouflage suit. A caption that read, The work of the Irish Guards is as wide-ranging as it is exemplary from training park rangers on counter-poaching in East Africa to demining training for the Ukrainian armed forces, appeared on photos of the couple getting engaged. It was great to see the mix hard work today, regardless of the weather.